Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to look at direct proportion again, but we're going to relate it to graphs. Now, the heading here linear graphs of direct proportion, linear meaning straight, so it's straight line graphs of direct proportion. I'll show you how that's created. So, firstly, over here, we've got a table that's a direct proportion table, and you've got one packet of Oreos cost 40 pence, two packets of Oreos cost 80 pence. Therefore, if we're doing three packets, you're adding on 40 every time to get 120. That's direct proportion there because it's increasing by the same amount every time. So four packets, an increase of 40 would be 160, five packets would be 200, and six packets, 240. Now what you can do if you wanted to relate this into a graph or turn it into a graph is treat these two parts here as an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So we can create a coordinate here out of the 1 and the 40 by doing that. One first for the x-coordinate and 40 for the y. And again, we can do this for the 2 and the 80. 2, 80, then 3, 120. 4, 160. 5, 200. And then 6, 240. So again, we can show direct proportion as a straight line graph. So I'm going to do that down here. Now, on your graph, the number of packets, I've gone up to 10 here, but we're going to 6. So I've just made it a wee bit bigger. And up and down the side, I've gone up in 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, to go all the way to 240. Now, if you're plotting the coordinates, you would plot 140, so 1 along and 40 up. Next coordinate is 280, so we'll go 2 along and 80 up. That would be there. And then we've got 3, 120, so we'll go along to 3, up to 120, like that. Then we've got 4, 160, so 4, 160 would be there. Now what you're noticing here, see I'm going to go along 1 and up 2, along 1 and up 2, it's the same pattern every time. So without knowing the next one, I can't see the coordinate, but I know it's along 1 and up 2. I've plotted 5, 200, let's check if that's right, yep. And the last one, we'll go along 1 and up 2 as well, because it should follow the same pattern, 6, 240, you can see that there. Now, if we were to join that up, what we'll get is a straight line. Uh, we can start from the top all the way down, and I'll just continue it down here to there. Okay, and that is a linear graph of direct proportion. A couple of things to note, the graph always creates a straight line. If you've done something wrong, like plotted a coordinate wrong and got something like this and it didn't form a straight line, you've done something wrong with your coordinates or in your table, something's happened. The graph always goes through the origin as well, because when there's zero items, this will be like zero pence. So if there's no packets at all, it won't cost anything. If there's, that, that's why it always goes through the origin, through zero.